It's not, it's not going to happen. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty basin around thing in your As everyone knows, I'm a big crybaby. Um, Bob, what's the over under on when it starts? Now. Welcome everyone. Shannon and Ryan have brought us together for an occasion of great joy and a cause for great celebration. Having found each other, they have built the kind of relationship that will serve them well as a foundation for their marriage. They have chosen each of you to be here with them to witness their wedding vows as they join together as husband and wife. Shannon, before I begin, I want to say how much I love you. To tell you that I will always love you, that you are the one for me, and there is no one else I would want to share my life with. I am so thankful to have met you. How did we end up writing the exact same thing to each other? The letter says word for word almost the exact same thing. Just over six years ago, we ran into each other in Federal Hill. I started telling my friends about you as soon as we began talking. I knew there was something special about you. Ever since our first date, where we talked so much that we forgot to order, I knew I was never going to turn back. Shannon Elaine Perry, I will always love you. You are the joy of my life. I can't wait to turn around and see you walk down the aisle. I can only imagine what I'm going to feel at that moment. Finally seeing you in your dress, looking into your eyes, seeing you smile, I know I'm going to turn around and see the most beautiful bride. Now what? <laughs> I'm the luckiest man alive. So stop. Beautiful. People don't kiss me yet. No, not yet. <laughs> Ryan, I feel like I'm dreaming right now. This beautiful day feels like a direct reflection of how beautiful our relationship is. As I look back and reflect on what got us here today, I love to think about how the stars aligned just perfectly for us to walk through life together. We met when I was 23 and you had just turned 25. It took almost a full year from the time we first met to actually realize we were perfect for each other. Sometimes I think back and I wish I could have gotten that year back to have had just one more year with you. I am always reminded how grateful I am that our paths somehow crossed and that we found each other in this life. I love that we both think we're so funny and that we both think each other is funny. It feels like every single day we're laughing about something to the point where we're crying. We bought each other luggage. I love that I somehow got so lucky to be with the most romantic person on the planet. You continue to one-up yourself after every big romantic gesture, and you set the bar incredibly high for yourself. And I know how jealous every other girl is of me that I get to be on the receiving end of that. I'm more happy. I'm just happy. We just are, you know, always on the same page. I know when it comes to marriage, they say for better or for worse, but with you, life is always better. So stop listening to you. Ryan's interest in Shannon was clear from the start. Years ago, Ryan sent me a text saying that he'd been talking to a so-called 10. I remember the first time I even heard Ryan's name come up. Shannon and I were sitting on my mom's couch and she said something like, I'm going to brunch today with some friends and I'm so excited. This really cute guy Ryan's gonna be there and I'm so excited to see him. About six years ago, Shannon and I were having dinner at our favorite Catonsville restaurant. 
when she casually mentioned that she had met someone. But I could tell right away it wasn't just someone, it was someone special. One night many years ago, Ryan was playing Xbox, and being the annoying little brother that I was, I decided that I wanted to play too. Ryan can be a little stubborn from time to time, so he refused to let me play. I then did what any rational child would do. Um, I immediately called 911. I'm not sure what I thought the cops would do to Ryan, but I figured like handcuffs or jail time would be involved, so. To my surprise, they did absolutely nothing, and I'm sure my parents love handling the return phone call from the dispatcher, so. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Rebecca and I'm Shannon's twin sister, me being the older one. You know, growing up it was always cool being able to say that I'm the older one, but now that we're 30 it hits a little bit different. <laughs> We've shared some pretty special memories together, from the days of dial-up internet playing The Sims in my mom's basement and filming music videos on our camcorder, to now. It's been pretty special going through life together and I'm so thankful to have her as a built-in best friend for life. Shannon. You will always be my little girl. <laughs> and Shannon, thank you for taking one for the team and making the ultimate sacrifice of spending the rest of your life with my brother. Look at you. Oh, what? You look so pretty.